Hey everyone, I've got my friend Elgin here. He's a pilot, so we're at this little airport. He's just gonna share some of his wisdom that he's picked up over the years, right? <laughs> uh, this is great. I think that sometimes, you know, life is just like flying an airplane. We need to make sure our pre-flight is uh, done properly because, you know, sometimes we get going and uh, we realize that I should have checked this, I should have checked that. It's too late now to fix this because, you know, once I take off, it's too late to shut the door here if it's open. What I'm going to do is look at my airplane and let you know that as we uh, journey this life, there's some things we need to get taken care of. This morning, I'm going to make sure I got the oil just the proper level in the engine and make sure all the components are right. We're good on oil. Sometimes in life, we get so busy and we get so consumed with the destination that we forget that the journey is really what it's about to be because God wants us to enjoy life, wants us to have a confidence that only He can bring. His love and His mercy and His forgiveness is what sustains us. We want to make sure the propeller blades are tight. We wouldn't want that to come. That's like having a flat tire. We all want to know, and everybody wants to know, what, how's this going to come to an end? How do we spend eternity with the Father? It's believing that a man named Jesus Christ loved you so much. The master pilot, the one that pioneered everything. He pioneered life, every aspect of life. He showed us that life can be lived without regret, anxiety, or worry, or confusion. Life can be lived with a complete fellowship with God. And that fellowship is done through a knowledge of His unbroken love for us because He loved you more than He loved Himself. Because He gave His best gift. He gave Jesus Christ so that we could have life and life abundantly. And so I always like to, to thank God that He chose me over His own Son. And that's His humbling because as I go through life now, I gotta view people the same way. I gotta view people and know that God loves them and I need to too. And it's not a hard, it's not hard to love people now knowing that if God loves them, I can too. And so we're gonna keep looking here at the airplane. Don't need this to hold us back. You wanna make sure the airplane can go fast. And in life, we wanna go fast. We don't want things holding us back. The guy overfilled me a little. As you can see, I'm running a little gas out here. But you know, as I always say, my cup runneth over. <laughs> So I'm okay with the tanks running over because airplane tanks that are too full are better than airplane tanks that are empty. That's true. <laughs> In an airplane, you can fly either on visual flight rules or instrument flight rules. You have to have a high enough ceiling and you can be a thousand feet off the ground and you have to be able to see three miles and basic things like that. But if you're going to fly in conditions that you can't see, kind of like living by faith, because by faith you can't see, you don't have any evidence. It's faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word and that's the only evidence we have so in the airplane you would use instruments to fly under instrument flight rules and here's a compass over here is airspeed of course we need to have airspeed to stay in the air and this is engine instruments to monitor you know fuel and oil pressure and manifold pressure the most important instrument that i have this map right here real-time weather you can see all the weather to the north of us these instruments are to keep me safe and to keep me going in the right direction and to keep me on track and i have to trust them and sometimes in an airplane you don't feel like trusting your instruments because you're like I feel like I'm going the wrong way no no that don't lie Th this compass don't lie we have two of them for that reason and this compass here I have three compasses they tell me the truth and they tell me exactly where I'm going and I have to believe them and trust them and it's just like God's Word sometimes in life we feel like we may be going the wrong way but we have to trust God we have to believe his word because even though you can't see where you're going or what you're going to be doing in the next few minutes or the next few days you have to trust god his word is like all these instruments i have the holy spirit inside of me to tell me yes this is where you go and this is what you're doing this is how you stay safe and god really wants to keep us safe and keep us protected and keep us on the right track so I like to look at it that way. When you fly instrument rules, it's just like flying by faith. You don't need any special ratings. You don't need any special licensing. You just have to do it and God will show up. And it's so awesome to just live by faith. And by faith is simply believing what you can't see, knowing that God's word is more real than what you're seeing with your eyes. It blesses me to compare the two. When you look for God's hand, you'll see it. You'll see God doing things for you every day. It's just like when I was a father to my young children, I did things for them every day. They may not have noticed it all the time, but my hand was on their life when they were small. The same way my father's hand is on me. 
And I actually invite it. I pray, Lord, keep your hand on me to keep me from evil and to protect me and to keep me in my way. So I'm going to untie this tail. We got a little bird uh, evidence here. But... Oopsie. <laughs> What happens when you take a passenger along with you? What do you tell oh, them? Yeah. Airplanes are a great evangelistic tool, and sometimes we need <laughs> props. <laughs> it's helpful sometimes to have, you know, sometimes you just need a prop. And so years ago when I was flying, I was pretty open with my faith, and uh, I always prayed before takeoff. And I had a sign in my airplane. It was a two-passenger airplane. I had two seats in it, but the sign read, this is a three-passenger airplane, you, me, and Jesus. And so as we're flying along, if the person was a... Uh, with me that wasn't uh you know i didn't know where he stood with the lord i'd ask him i'd say you know that guy right there if they say yeah i'd say great it's good to know god if you're a pilot or flying in an airplane and if they said well, you know kind of hesitated i mean you hesitate a minute <laughs> i just push the nose over to the ground and <laughs> i say you better know him because i drive this thing in the dirt you're going to meet him quick sometimes people just need to be just just shook a little bit that's when you can introduce him to the lord just little instances you know you're opening the door for somebody going into a restaurant you could just say hey god's knocking on your door are you gonna open it for him or you're in an elevator and you can say you know you're going up or down no i mean when you die not right now when you die are you going up or down i mean which button are you going to push and, and there's just so many ways that we can lead people to at least ask lord who am i who are you just be a light. That's what I pray. I just want to be a light. And I just want people to say, hey, tell me about your God. We're going to celebrate Easter here shortly. And it's so exciting to know that when Jesus rose again from the dead, his resurrection is absolute proof that all of my sins and all your sins were forgiven. He couldn't have rose if it had to happen. In life, there's things we all do that are embarrassing sometimes. The one thing as a pilot that you sometimes may do that will embarrass you is is you'll get in the plane to go and you'll strap on your harness and you'll get all your instruments ready and you'll start the plane and you've got your intercom and the radio frequencies and everything and then you give it the gas to go and it won't go and you look out the window and you forgot to move the wheel chalk and everybody's looking around saying oh look at pilot so-and-so how embarrassing he forgot to move his chalks and so you got to get out of the plane move the chalk wave at everybody get back in <laughs> That doesn't happen today, so I'm gonna move the wheel chalk before I get in so that when I start the engine, I'm ready for takeoff. So in life, just always make sure to enjoy it. And if you do something embarrassing, oh well, just laugh at yourself because everybody else is too. <laughs> See ya.